to my YouTube channel and another video of Monday Meals with Mama Mom. If you're new here, my name is Monique and I post twice a week, Mondays a cooking video and on Saturdays I post a, a random video which will probably just start being vlogs of random parts of my week. <laughs> random events that I do, I don't know. Um, so today is a video 7, can you believe it? We're almost at 10 video guys, videos, guys, um, of the mama mom. And at the end of 10 videos, it would also mean that I won't be doing budget meals anymore. Um, the next theme, I guess you could say that I'm moving into, you won't find out. You will have to wait till episode 9 of Monday Meals with Mama Mom for that. Anyways, without further ado... Let's get into the kitchen. Okay. Ooh. Let me just lighten for you. Okay, so now that we're in the kitchen, I have two rules before we do anything. Any long hair that is below shoulder length, put it up. And then you gotta wash your hands. So we're gonna do that now. Also, if you have any sort of dangly necklaces that are nice and long, please take those off and any bracelets and rings that you might have on as well. Um take those off just for health and safety in the home kitchen. You don't want to be getting sick, you know what I mean? Um hair is up and probably the wackiest of hairdos, but that's okay. I'm in my uniform, my comfy pajamas, with a jacket, cause it's getting colder and colder in Australia, cause it's we're getting into winter, and I'm here for it. I'm loving it, except as you can see, it is tiles galore in this household. I don't appreciate it. Roll them sleeves up, we don't want them getting wet, we don't want them getting icky, and also it's cross-contamination if you get your sleeve in the food. We don't want that. Let's wash our hands. Now that our hair is up, our hands are washed and our sleeves are pushed back. We have to make sure all of our ingredients are done and, not done, sorry, put out on the table. That's just what we have done today. These are our ingredients. It's just three ingredients again for this recipe. Now, talking about ingredients, I'm gonna hand it over to Future Mom so that she can tell you guys more about the ingredients and the prices. Hey y'all, um, it's Future Mom. Um, now look at my best. I apologize. <laughs> this is not a look. Oh no. Look, <laughs> I just did day four <laughs> in the row of work and I still have two more days to go. <laughs> Fine, we need the money. We gotta hustle, hustle, hustle. Anyway, sunny who? Um, I'm here to tell you about my ingredients for this video. So, same as usual, I'm gonna have the price down below and the ingredients up high up top i don't know anyways our first one would be the fried rice now i know what you're thinking microwave rice really but look <laughs> this is a budget meal <laughs> at its finest <laughs> hmm. next is our meat now you can have whatever meat you want um you can go bacon you can go spam um if you're vegan vegetarian i don't know can you do tofu in a fried rice oh no <laughs> try it if you want but the other option is um i use polynesian sausage i think it was i don't know my pop kind of had laying in the fridge and he said to use that instead of buying bacon so i was like cool saves me more money so i was very budgeted this one 
And then the next one is eggs. Um, now these eggs we just had from my pop's friend's farm, so they were free as well. I really paid like nothing for this meal. I paid for the rice and that was it. This meal was cheap, I gotta say. I'm proud of myself for this one. Um, yeah. Anyways, get back, watch the video, bye. Welcome back to the past, everyone. How's my future looking? Right now, yeah, I'm hoping. Right. First step, I'm gonna dice this up. I'm not gonna use too much because I only have 250 grams of rice. And yes, this is microwave rice. I'm cheating, but if we're keeping the meals cheap, I kind of have to cheat. You know what I mean? So we have our handy little knife and our chopping board here. Now if you guys don't remember that tip that I gave you, if it keeps sliding around too much and you don't like it, put some paper towel and pop it underneath and you'll be right. Or a chuck spot, whatever you have in your house, I suppose. Now for those of you who don't like meat, you are more than welcome to use tofu. Actually, I don't know if you should use tofu on a fried rice. Use whatever you would like as a substitute for meat. However, my family and I do like to eat our meat, so yeah. Anyways, I'm going to speed run this and I'll get back to use. All right, now that that is done, let's wash our hands because we have meat all over them. All right, I'm going to keep you guys down at this level now because we are going to start cooking. First thing I want you to cook is your meat because it has to cook for the longest time. So we're going to par cook that now. And par cooking just essentially means half cooking something and then finishing off cooking it later. Turn the exhaust on, so it might get a little bit loud. Okay, so we're gonna wait for the um, frying pan to heat up before we put the meat into it. And whilst we're waiting for that, we're gonna um, work scramble our eggs. These eggs are from my pop's friend, um, from his farm, so they're fresh eggs. One more, I reckon. They did pretty well. And then one bit of shelling. You can use whatever meat you like. I was going to buy bacon, but my pop said that this was lying around the house, so I could use that instead. Um, I guess it saves more money, really. You can use chicken, bacon, spam, sausage. <laughs>
Okay, so our sausage is looking pretty par cooked now, which is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another bowl out and I'm going to transfer this into that one. Fast. So now we're going to put the meat back in there. And with the rice being done, we're going to pop it in there too. We're going to pop that back on the heat and stir it up. Time to add salt and pepper if you want to as well. All right, and then you can turn the heat off um, and serve it up ready to ooh, dish it up ready to eat. Um, so I'll dish it up and then I'll show you guys the end results. Stop, you there? Are you subscribed? I don't think you are because about forty-six percent of you people watching my video right now aren't subscribed. Why? You've literally come this far in the video, you might as well subscribe because you're here. You're watching my content, you know. Something, something's got to be happening in your brain to want to be watching my video. So subscribe for more videos like this. I post a video like this every single Monday. And then I have another video come out every single Sunday. I mean, Saturday. Oh. I keep getting my dates mixed up. Subscribe, like the video, and turn on your post notifications. Anyways, I'll let you go. You know, you have five seconds to do that. Now, go down below. You got five seconds to subscribe, like the video, and turn on your post notifications. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. Let's get back to the kitchen. Okay guys, and this is the finished meal. You can garnish it with some greens if you'd like, um, make it look nice and pretty. Um, that's up to you really. I was going to, but we didn't have any fresh um, parsley in the veggie patch at the moment. So turn the exhaust fan and everything off. Close your cupboard. And thank you so much for watching another Monday Meals with Mama Mon. Don't forget to like and leave a comment if you enjoyed this video and subscribe. Don't think I won't forget to say that. Don't forget to subscribe, ladies and gents, and lay them, okay? Anyways, bye. Who can trust in me? You said I can't trust in you